Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. Still 4am, still playing Bravely Default. I think we're about to go into a boss battle here, so we went ahead, we saved. I did a little bit of, you know, things here and there. But I think we can move forward here. And touch- Oh, this is the sim- Ooh, that actually scared me, it scared me in real life. Holy crap. Dude, this game scared the crap out of me. That's not chill. Okay, I want to make sure. Okay, we're not autoed, bruh. Why I gotta do that to me? Don't, don't, don't do that to me. Okay, these things are probably pretty tough. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna go ahead and. You know what? I will. Just, I saved. If if something goes bad, let's just defeat one automaton. Let's go at least for one. I don't know what type of fire. But if you're not, these guys probably aren't weak to any specific type of magic, but. Do some hidden dragons here. And then we can do maybe some auroras. Let's see if this kills one of them at least. Oh. Well, it's also, it's also slow this down a little bit. Okay, so it does around a thousand. Okay. But is one burst of damage from everyone enough to kill it is the real question. also made a bad idea. I think they're gonna wipe us out. I'm just gonna be honest. I think they're probably gonna wipe us out. Okay, still not- okay, one of them's dead. There we go. Okay, so about a full attack from everyone takes about one of them out. Are we dead? Doesn't- Somehow we didn't die. That is incredible. Wow. Okay. Well. Um. I don't- I guess let's just use a special. Um. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Holy weapon. Ooh. Okay, holy weapon. We can do that on all foes. We can do- okay. Ascendant, attack one. Let's do it on just one of them. And then with ring bell, we're gonna go ahead and use a Kira. Kira, Kira. And then an Aurora on one of them and- Please, I need to heal before they attack me. We got pretty lucky that we survived there with everyone alive. Lightning is our weak point. Noted. Oh! You'd love to see it. Ring a bell managed to get a cure off before everyone. You absolutely love to see it. Okay. That's not. That's not good. That reminds me, I need to do the move parts for some of these new moves that we're learning. Because I don't think I did for the newer ones. Okay, so these guys are leveling up a little bit, but that's alright, not that big of a deal. Okay, you know what, 700 for both ain't, ain't terrible. And their defense is down now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... We're going to get rid of them now, so let's just go ahead and go in as quick as we can. And now we know they are weak to lightning, so we're going to go ahead and do Thundara, Thundara, and then we're going to run out of MP here, so we're just going to have to use normal thunders. We're just going to do a normal attacks, and um, honestly, we should be good here. I think both of them should be able to die from this, because we did quite a bit of damage. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully we get to save before an actual... Hopefully there's not like another fight right after, because it's going to be hard. Alright, let's get this back to Commander Goodman! Okay, so we'll probably have to fight someone probably walking out or something then. It only gets worse. Okay, let's go ahead and save. <clears throat> At least we can just save that fight. Okay, can I pick things up off the floor? No, this is not good. Okay, fair enough. Let's make sure here. Here. And we have to more to the deal. I feel like that. So, we'll get out here. So, it has to be right. Let's walk. Okay. So, oh wait. If our aim is to just get out of the building, let's just get out of the building, I guess. I don't know why I'm looking around for something. I've already checked out all of the building. So, we need to go down this one. 
and then this sh this should take us to the first floor. Yeah, so we just literally just run out the front door here. Got a lettuce. It actually let us. Wow. Okay. So those uh, uh I, don't, I forgot what the automatons, automons, whatever. Those that was the actual battle then. Um. Oh, we're coming from the wrong side. I'm just gonna enter it because I'm. I, I want to see. Who are you? Hey, get over here. Uh, we. Okay. So I just can't enter from that side. I'm not <clears throat> understanding this dynamic. If I can just run behind them. Why? I'm not gonna question it, but hey, y'all can just run behind him, you know. It's like not super hard to do, but hey, not my tactics. All right, let's go and see what's going on at the bridge here. This is what caused the toxic mist. So it was not magic. But an alchemical concoction. We are in your debt. I'll have our physicians start researching how to make a neutralizing agent. Wait, would you consider destroying that sample now? No. Agnes. Agnes, are you stupid? I understand the need for a cure for the poison, but I would like you to dispose of that sample. Find a method that ensures it can never again be used. You can incinerate it in the lava. Bro, Agnes. Yes. I see. You're incredibly if there is stupid. No danger, the toxic mist will be used again. Then we have no need to neutralize it. That would also remove the temptation to use the sample to turn the tables on our enemy. No. I do not have the resolve to say with full confidence that we could prevail without it. Or what if therefore the enemy I still has it? Do as you ask, Gwen Vestal. Let us throw this master sample into the lava. But how do you know it's a master sample? I thank you for accommodating my request. I am happy that my words fell on wise ears. What if they just happen to have it somewhere else? We have trouble! What's wrong? It's the enemy! They've launched a full scale assault! Okay, well then we fight. They attack with tremendous force. We may not be able to hold the line if they keep this up. You seemed okay up to now, though. What happened? They have begun using mithril ammunition. Mithril? About a year ago, the enemy captured the mithril mine we were working. There was something in my journal about that, come to think of it. Let's see. Uh, here it is. Mithril is a hard metal refined from mithril ore. Mined in Eisenberg. Over 80% of all mithril in the world is mined in Eisenberg, where it is said precious orichalcum has also been found. Orichalcum is a precious metal unique to Eisenberg and the hardest material in the known world. It can be used to produce weapons and armor of the highest strength, and it releases great energy when melted at high pressure. We tried to recapture the mine, but the sword bearers had put children to work down there. Children? Yes. I'm sure you've heard tales of canaries being taken into mines as an early warning for dangerous gases. Well, the sword bearers call the children they've abducted and forced into hard labor canary boys. When we tried to rescue the children, those cowards used them as human shields and barricaded themselves inside. Using these canary boys to warn of danger? I cannot believe the Black Blades would stoop to such tactics. It's despicable! We can't let them get away with it! We must do something to save the children! What are we waiting for then? Let's take back the Mithril Ma. Let's do it. I'm down. Well, Agnes, are you against saving the, the children too? Crawling with sword bear soldiers. It would be foolhardy to rush in without support. I got this, bro. Don't Even worry. So, we must take action. You can focus on retaking the mine. We'll rescue the children they're using down there. Yeah, let's do that. 
Bro, Agnes has become real annoying lately, not gonna lie. Let me quickly save. Like, she's been great up until this part of the game, but now she's being really, like, whiny about everything. What can I help you with? Oh, uh... I guess we have to go through all these dialogues. So, one by one, I'll I guess. Fill you in on what we know about the Black Blade mercenaries hired by... They have about 4,000 soldiers stationed in these lands. They are split into at least five units that we know of. The first, a unit led by the Swordmaster, the commander of the Black Blades. They are powerful, elite troops. Next is the unit that conquered the East City using Toxic Mist. We are very aware of the danger they represent. They have not been seen in recent years, which is cause for concern. Then there is their naval force. They are rarely sighted in battle. Pirate. But after the Temple of Fire was attacked, there were reports they made several attempts to approach it from the sea. We also believe that the Black Blades has a covert unit specializing in assassination. Many shield bearer officers have been slain in the past four years. We think this unit was also responsible for killing the Fire Vestal. Last of all, there is the unit led by someone I care not to mention. Huh? If you're around long enough, you'll learn all you need to know and more. Best to see for yourself. Fair enough. What can I help you with? There's a good reason that the lines of battle were drawn at this bridge. Three roads run north to south across this land. One each to the east and west of here, and this one in between. The central road that this bridge is built upon is wider than the paths to the east and west, and it serves as our main thoroughfare. The colossal weaponry the Black Blades have given the sword bearers is too large to be hauled down any other road. I see. So the enemy was forced to target this bridge to make use of it? Precisely. We made this bridge our last line of defense, and the main body of the shield bearers guards it. The sword bearers need to cross the bridge so they cannot attack it directly. This strategy results in the least casualties for our forces. But even if you halt the advance of their main contingent, wouldn't it be easy for smaller units to slip past by other routes? Correct. Small squads we are not aware of present more danger than the vast army we face before us. Okay. What can I help you with? One more. What do you mean? The enemy forces attacking the bridge. Oh, I see. The shock troops led by that brassy young woman. Our intelligence suggests she is a high-ranking member of the Black Blades. That girl is one of their officers? Don't underestimate her. She uses the power of song to bolster her soldiers and weaken ours. The power of song? Yes. Her songs can be quite troublesome. All of our soldiers that hear her sing become confused. The sword bears bombard us from the opposite bank when they see us in disarray. We've suffered great losses from these attacks. Songs that inspire allies and confuse the enemy. She must have quite a voice. I'd like to hear it myself sometime. So it doesn't bother you that she's a foe? I hope her honeyed tones send you tumbling off the bridge. I have no ulterior motives, I swear. So, if you silence this girl, would that swing the battle in your favor? Unfortunately, she is protected by a formidable force, and the narrow bridge makes it impossible to get close. Then, let us try. Fair enough, I guess. Hear me perform? Why, thank you. 
We don't have any MP at the moment. We might have to restart this fight. I am on a or maybe we have to walk to her. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have MP on my characters at the moment. I'm pretty sure. We're not fighting now, fair enough. The time is nigh to blow the sky high! Fire! Uh oh, we need to pull back now, or we'll be obliterated! True. Back it up. I'm afraid we weren't able to break through. If it is beyond even you, then we are out of options. If only we could shut her up. Just use silence, forehead. Okay, let's see. What 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 do we have on the main map here? Okay, we could head to the ship, or we can head. What what is all the way that up there? Is this new? This is new, right? This just opened up for us. Okay, well, first let's go back to the city and heal. And then, I guess, let's go to the blue marker. First, just go to the side for the first time. Oh, uh, quick time. Okay. Can't sleep, huh? Oh, it's just. I've had a few restless nights lately. For a while, no. Huh? Ever since we've been traveling together, you've been like this. You haven't slept well in a while, have you? Uh, you noticed? Any idea why? There must be a reason for it. Hmm. There is. Actually, oh, not gonna tell us. Okay, let's do a quick update on the town, super, super quickly. Okay, a couple of gifts. Looks like there's actually nothing new. The only thing I want to do very quickly. So this is on 51. Let's take a few people off of there. What else has a really low timer at the moment? Want to put some people on something else. How many people does you have? Um, oh. Actually, no, I want those people doing that. But this one. 17 people. Let's take some people off of there. That only has four. Which one of these has so many people? Let's take a few off of there. One of these has a lot of people on it. Okay, take a few off of there. Okay, I guess that'll be enough. Let's stick the rest of these people on this one right here. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. I guess let's head to the blue mark. And continue with here. So we're gonna go back to the Yeah, hopefully this isn't a ship. Sex is because we're going to go particularly see that, but um, this is fair enough. We're gonna go to the ship. So we got ten minutes to go. Okay. Oh my god, let's go ahead and head towards the blue marker. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what's happening here. Something weird goes on. Okay, so let's go right here. 
Oh, can I not save? Guess we'll save inside then. So before we head into the tavern, let's just head over here and see that's okay. I want to see what we're having. Cool. Yes, indeed, I'll save. Okay? Continue, okay? Here we check on the next one. Let's go to the diner here. Oh, little kid. I love Uncle Dats. He's really nice. I'm sure he is. Hey, have you ever heard of the Siren Song? Yeah. I have. A strange voice you hear out at sea, right? Indeed. Sailors who hear the song become captivated by it and throw themselves overboard. It's a common tale. That's right. The siren song that causes all to cast themselves into the sea. When I was even younger than you are now, there was a time it was heard throughout the whole ship. A siren song? Was everyone okay? It caused great panic among young and old. But a traveling bard who happened to be aboard said something that calmed everyone down. All you have to do is sing above the siren's voice. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? He conducted us in song with his baton all night long, and the siren was defeated. Wow, that's quite a story. Where did the bard go? Uh, who knows? He set off again soon after. One of the elders here might know. Okay, so apparently we're after some random bard. Fair enough. Um, yeah, wasn't it? You? Yeah. Um, so fearful now? Talk to you, you? Um, okay, no, to you? Just want to stop drink. I'm sure you know what's happening. Yeah, that's really help. Can I see you change it? Send, uh, right, okay. Fill up here. Wait. Ooh, flame charm. Love to see it. Um, okay, let's talk back to her. Okay. Do you play piano? Yeah, I don't really like this today. Um, I don't know what specific games we'll be doing. I'm trying to get it now. Was that just some weird glitch? I don't know what that was about. Well, I guess. Oh! One of those elders told me something about Ann Chime. Right, so now we have to go to Ann Chime. Fair enough. Okay. I thought there was going to be some, uh, like, cutscene or something to kind of tell me but no apparently it was just that that textless person told us to where to go come on keyboard he got this keep working on me I really need to change the batteries in this keyboard I think because right now just for recording I use a wireless when I'm playing games I use the you know the RGB big razor one that makes the clicky clack sounds but for now, I'm just using the silent one because if y'all notice in all my playthroughs, you hear big clicks. Ah, for this playthrough, I said I don't want big clicks, so. What? You made the wind blow again? Whoa. Sadly, I fear he has crossed the Great Divide. When he knew he, uh, he sought to visit three of his pupils one last time, he passed me on one of the secrets of his singing. His last words to me were, always sing with your mouth wide open. The second pupil he visited, I believe he lived near the castle in Caldisla. Okay, so... To Caldisla we go? Question mark? Right? That'd be the only... Smart conclusion. We travel to Caldisla. So, the first thing to see, oh, is this to help with... The singing though, is that we're trying to figure out the second piece of singing because I'm not silencer? So we're trying to defeat the first piece of singing. So the second one is silence, we're using order maybe? I guess we'll see. This guy's advice was to sing with wide open. Okay, so is this other pupil inside? Yes. He's inside of Caldisla. You are looking for my old mentor? It has been some time since I heard his name. Such memories. Yes, I was a second pupil. When he came to me, he looked fondly at my children as if they were his own grandchildren. Now they are all grown up and I'm an old woman. Hmm, you wish to know if I was given any instructions? I do remember him saying, sing from your belly. He stayed with me a few weeks, then set off to visit his third pupil. They lived in Florum. Okay. Well, fair enough. Florum is where we go next then. So let's go back to the ship. Basically, 
We're nearing around 30 minutes in the episode, so we'll probably stop soon here. But I do want to get this done. Okay. Where do we go? Where is where is this third student? Ah. Singing. Or up there? Yes, I was his last pupil. Does that surprise you? You expect a woman, no doubt. Me being from Florum, I can see it on your face. In any case, my mentor visited two other pupils before coming to see me. He bestowed one of the secrets to his one of the secrets to his songs to each of us. You wish to know what he told me? Well, this is embarrassing. He said, Do not be shy when it comes to song. He always worried that I was too faint of heart. I'll never forget the words he whispered to me when he left my side for the last time. A singer has no need of finesse, he said as he was heading to Heart's Child as he, as he left. Okay. So that's three pieces of advice. But how does that help us? I guess let's head outside and see where the blue check mark moved, or you know, whatever blue square moved. Does it take us? Okay, so it takes us back to town. So I guess back to town we go. inside the city here who can we talk to hmm the old bard yeah he passed on not ten years ago about half a year after he arrived here he gathered us little ones up and taught us about music always sing with your mouth wide open sing from your belly do not be shy when it comes to song no he never told anything like that but he did say, your hearts are as one, and the most important thing is to have fun. It's not just me, all the people of this town were his pupils, as were their children. Even in the midst of this war, I bet you could convince the shield bearer soldiers to break into song. When he died, we sent his belongings on the grand ship. Okay. So basically, we just have to, when um, that singer starts singing, we just need to get all of the other soldiers to sing louder to drown out her music. Okay, I guess back into the diner tavern thing we go ah look who we have here oh look what i found while cleaning up the place could that be the bard's baton i wonder if we could borrow it for a while really what for i certainly don't mind so take it i doubt i'll ever get any use out of it thank you hey there's something written on it the most important thing is to have fun, it says. Okay, so we take this baton, we go to the bridge, and we take out that chick. Bop! You feel me? This ain't no game. We, we don't play games around here. Okay, keyboard, keep working, please. Yeah, I have to like keep my keyboard out in front of me, close enough to the USB. I can't tell if it's the connection or the battery, so I'll probably have to figure that out soon enough. Okay. Okay, let's go to the um, to the guy. Let's save first, and I think we're gonna end off the episode here, guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna go quickly save. Guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment and support my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.